Bye. Looking for ideas on how to train your pup? Well, Laura Boyer wrote The Pet Sitter's Tale, the story of one celebrity pet sitter, her adventures, and what she's learned taking care of amazing animals. And she's now here in our studio with more on the book and her top tips for crate training. Thanks so much for talking with us. Happy to be here. Well, first of all, let's talk about your book and why you decided to write it, especially about your star pet. Right. Well, I wrote the book because so many people asked me, what's it like to be a professional pet sitter and dog walker? And I wanted to share with them my adventures and just really let them know that it's perfectly okay to love your pet. Yeah, <laughs> a <lot>. absolutely. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. And you've worked with plenty of celebrities. Absolutely. You've worked with a lot of different dogs. What are some key things that you learned about raising, especially a puppy? Puppies need to be crate trained. Definitely. If you want a house for a puppy, you have to crate train them. And that's imperative because otherwise you're going to have a messy house and chewed up shoes. So crate training is not cruel. What you're really trying to do is recreate a den-like atmosphere for your dog. Yeah, and we're looking at some of the puppies that, that you've sat for. Oh my goodness. So cute. So Look at those cute. ears. <laughs> they're so much fun. Um, and of course, is this your dog That's here? my dog, Dexter. Oh my gosh, Dexter. You are so cute. Okay, we're focusing on crate training today. What's okay. key? What do you need to do first thing? First of all, the crate should be comfortable for the pet, for the dog, because you don't want it to be a punishment. So you want it to be a place where the dog wants to go. And so it should have a covering so the dog can only see out of one side and also a place that's soft inside. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. And what about inside? You were saying, um, what if your dog's a chewer? How much should you leave in there? So indestructible toys if your dog is a chewer. But some toys, they say they're indestructible, but some dogs can destruct anything. So uh, trial and error, you know, a couple toys, never any food, never water. But just see what the dog will be able to handle in its crate. What if they're whining? What if they don't like it? I know. Well, it's patience and a plan. So you can't plan to just get a dog and throw it in the crate and say, you're crate trained. It takes time and it takes patience and, and, and it takes time getting the dog used to the crate. And so that should be done daily before you actually leave. So you'll put them in the crate with a high value treat in the back so they'll go inside and you'll stand there till they get used to it. So give them a chance to get accustomed to being in the crate. How long do you think it, it should take? To be fully crate trained, it could take just a week. It could take a couple of weeks. It depends on the dog. So it's just every every individual dog is different. Okay. Puppies are easier. And you know, we're talking about puppies because they're just learning. So they're like, oh, okay, this right. is what I do. <laughs> but what if you adopt an older pet? Older a pets, rescue. right, that's great. Um, they might already be potty trained, so you might not need to crate train, but you might want to crate train anyway for those cases where you're traveling or you're transporting your pet. So it's always a good idea to have them crate train so they're familiar with it in case of an emergency. Okay, that's a very good point. Absolutely. Um, okay, always good tips. You can also learn a lot more in The Pet Sitter's Tale. Can you tell me yes. more about the book? Oh yeah, the book is just a collection of my stories in Hollywood, dog walking and pet sitting. A lot of them were celebrities. And also it does have great training and walking tips and also entrepreneurial trips as well. Okay, a lot to learn. You can get it online. You see it right there. It's The Pet Sitter's Tale. To learn more, go to thepetsitterstale.com.